I have to go to the mall today. So while I'm there, let's go to Lush. Sunlight. My destination is ahead. Sometimes. That's, that's, that's usually the opposite. It's really <laughs> so Lush is outside. <laughs> Lately, I've been thinking to myself, some of you have never been to a Lush and it shows. So I had to go to the mall and I decided to bring you guys to Lush with me. So let's look at some of their bath bombs and some of their bubble bars so you can stop judging yourself so damn harshly, okay? Because I really think that we all need to take a step back on this perfectionism thing. Here is a beautiful crack on a sparkly pink bath bomb. Here is a bunch of rough, weird looking tops on some blue bath bombs. And, uh, whoa, look at this guy. Dented, cracked, dinged. So, um, all those times when you guys are freaking out because your bath bombs aren't perfect, like, we need to take a step back, okay? We need to put this in perspective, okay? Having spotty bath bombs or your colors not all the way, coloring things correctly, whatever, like, <laughs> look at these. They're way f***ed up, okay? And Blush is selling them for nine dollars right off. All right, now look at these, all dinged up and f***ed up. Like, <laughs> I mean, initially I didn't know whether or not this um, this video would qualify as a what the f Wednesday, right? Like initially I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna show them what it what it looks like at Lush, right? But then it became a whole. A whole thing. So yes, it does qualify as what the fuck Wednesday. I'm just saying, like this initial video, I just wanted to show you guys, like what's up. Okay, that is cracked. Like she's she's cracked, <laughs> and they're selling it with pride, saying yes, buy this for nine, ten dollars, whatever. Okay, so those were the bath bombs. Now we're on to bubble rolls. That is a $9 little tiny ladybug bubble roll, and it's cute. I mean, for what they have, it is cute, but is it worth it? I, oh, I don't know. Um, at the end of this video, I will show you. I test some of the bath bombs. I didn't mean to test them. That wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't the purpose. This wasn't the goal. Um, but I did, haven't done the bubble bar yet, so the jury's still out on that one. Um, but once again, bubble bars, little weird bubble monster, looks like it has the plague. That cat, super cute. I'm actually kind of obsessed with that cat. But I just wanted to show you the back was all wrinkled and stuff. The lemon, cute. Like, the thing is, I'm not down on Lush. Like, I I think that they do great things for our uh, for our industry. Like, we, we, you and I, handmade DIY bath bomb makers, we would not be here making bath bombs if it weren't for Lush. So we have a lot to be really thankful for when it comes to Lush. But at the same time, <laughs> the girl is off chain. She needs to calm her shit. She is not all that special. All right, so there, I got a bag of Lush goodies. Ooh, wow. And I decided to use this one, the Melusane. Decided to use it for myself. Now, <laughs> it's dusty, dusty bath bomb, just, just dusty bath bomb alert. Um, I decided to use this one for myself. Um, I normally am not, I, I'm not a morning person, so I like to take baths in the morning when my kids are not gonna bother me, nobody's home, I just get to take a bath 
and enjoy myself and relax. Yes, girl. So this is my personal use bath bomb. Like I just wanted to like splurge and use it for myself. So the color is just kind of like a little bit off. I noticed when I was in the water, like there was something like stabbing me. And to me, it felt like glass. Like I was actually kind of worried and concerned. And then I saw that this little chunk of something and I realized it was salt. So there was like big chunks of salt. And I was like, oh yeah, I think I remember the guy in the store saying something about having like chunks of salt in it. So uh, that like made sense or it checked out. Um, so I went ahead and like tried to stir up the salt to get it to dissolve. But then I realized that like what was actually scratching me was like this giant glitter that was in the bath bomb. And it was extremely unpleasant. So I normally take like a 45 minute bath. Like I'll stay in the bath so long that I'll have to like refill it because the water goes cold. I got out of this tub as soon as the bath bomb dissolved, I was like, I'm out. Like I bounced because that. It was the worst bath bomb experience personally that I've ever had. And I was so, so not happy with it. Then I noticed that I had glitter all over me and glitter all over my tub, which is like, <sighs> why, why Lush? Why are you using this big chunky glitter? Like, I know you know how to use mica. You could use mica to create a shimmer effect in the bathtub. Like there's no need for this giant glitter. And the thing is like, I've used eco glitter from uh, like Nurture Soap. And it does not create the sensation that you're like taking a bath with little shards of glass. So I don't know what they're using, but they could use something different. As you can see, I was not amused. <laughs> not amused. I was grumpy. This is in the morning. This is when I'm supposed to be able to relax. Like, I was so pissed off that this happened. Um, and yes, it does come out with just a rinse. Like it wasn't a full scale. Like I had to get down on my hands and knees and scrub the bathtub. But I was extremely irritated that I spent, I don't know, $9 on a bath bomb that I literally was in the water for whatever amount of time that it took to dissolve. So probably eight minutes. So then I went online because I was curious. Like, has nobody else said anything about this bath bomb? So here's the Lush website. It's called Melusine. Melusine? Anyway, so okay, it says glittery turquoise water, sure to make waves, blah, 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 made with plastic free glitter that won't harm the waterway. And obviously, I agree that we should be using plastic free glitter. Like, yes, that is a good thing. Let's do that. Um, however, you could just use mica. Like, you don't have to use real glitter. Like, mica can still make shimmer and water lush, you know that. So I went to read the reviews and the two most helpful, the first one said, don't hope on the negative itchy bandwagon. I read the reviews of this bomb and saw many thought the glitter was too big, the salt was too sharp and it left their skin itchy. Personally, I take pretty hot baths. So in my experience, the salt started to dissolve and was very small, not shard like at all. The pieces softened up, blah, blah, blah. Well, good for you. Cause that's not what happened to me. Uh, the second one says the glitter, not the salt, needs to be changed. The salt dissolves, the glitter does not. It's a gorgeous bath bomb. The chunks of glitter make it a mermaid's dream world. What? Uh, visually? Uh, but then it settles on the bottom and becomes inescapable no matter how much you try to agitate the water, try to fish the pieces out, or try to float off the floor. Baby, <laughs> go back to the exorcist, okay? We're not, we're not floating off the floor. I'm sure she's talking about the glitter, though. So anyway, then I was like, well, let's just read more reviews. Okay, the itchy stabbiness of the glitter. Huh. Let's see. It truly felt like glass shards on my skin. Huh. Also, the glitter hurt. It made sitting in the tub painful. It hurt and itched and scratched my skin all up. Girl, same. This bath bomb is like bathing in glass. It is the most uncomfortable bath bomb I have ever used. No joke. <sighs> but the glitter was coarse and made me itchy for a whole day after the bath. Yes, but the glitter was poking me and so itchy incredibly uncomfortable contact dermatitis in a delicate area. Ouch. I do not have sensitive skin, but this was irritating to sit in. Yep. Uh, when I got in, it was like sitting on tiny pins and needles. The glitter is so sharp and irritating. My biggest issue was the crystal slash salt in the bath bomb. It felt like sharp objects in the bath bomb. Blah, blah, blah. It felt like glass. The glitter is the itchiest bath bomb ever. 
<laughs> Feels like fiberglass. Fiberglass? What the f***? <laughs> so, yeah, it does, though. Definitely needs to change the glitter to something more fine. Look, look, look. Lush. Lush. My guy. Lush. Listen. Worst bath bomb ever. Somebody rated it worst bath bomb ever. They still gave you two stars, which... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you deserve two stars if it's the worst bath bomb ever. Anyway, Lush, this is a problem. You know it's a problem. All these customers are telling you it's a problem. It's a problem, Lush. Girl, it's a problem. I was grumpy about it. I was grumpy. So, a few days later, I decided to try another Lush bath bomb. This one is the Unicorn Poop bath bomb. I figured it didn't have as much glitter or it has like some shimmer to it. So that should be better. But if I had one way to describe this bath bomb, I think it would just be that it was underwhelming. Like I don't feel like it was, like, I don't know. At least the green one, when I put it in the water, it like had a lot of foam at first, even though it was like not like a great show. It did have like a little bit of foam at it, right? But this one is just like, what are you doing? Why are you spinning? F chill out. Like, what the f***? Slow down. It's just spinning. Like, so, and it, it just didn't do anything. Like, I don't know. I just was like really unimpressed with it. And here I make a huge mistake. Right there. <laughs> right there. Little did I know that that little crunchy crunch right there would cost me like two days of having pink fingers. Two days. That sh that sh does not come off. Like, sometimes when I'm holding a bath bomb that I made that's like super saturated with color, sometimes my hands will get some color on them. Sometimes if I squish a embed or something like that, like some of the color will transfer to my hands. If I wash my hands or rinse them off, it'll come off, right? But like a super saturated bath bomb, that does happen sometimes. It's not unheard of. But this, I've never had it stay on my hands for like a couple of days. I thought that that was really dumb. Um, I would have to say though, the biggest complaint that I have about this bath bomb was that the fragrance was just kind of gross to me. Like I just didn't like the way that it smelled like at all but that's so so minor compared to the first one and then the third one um and you can see like there is some shimmer that's left on the tub and this is one thing that we do tell people like if you're gonna add mica or shimmer to bath bombs make it white so that if there is some residue left over it just kind of matches the tub so it's not that big a deal um still had a pink thumb right there so basically i would say this is my best of the three this was my best experience of the three i was still it was still the morning but i wasn't quite as grumpy like i do have a little smile on my face so you know i made it through it but let's read the reviews um now there were not as many reviews on this but there were reviews that said that people got dyed pink now it's not not as many so i will say like the melisoon bath bomb like literally almost every single review said something about the glitter like even the like four star reviews is like this is a four star review but like the glitter f sucks but other than that it's like four stars like no no um <laughs> do better have better standards you know so and now we're gonna try the most notorious bath bomb ever the lush black rose bath bomb now I did not know how to feel about this bath bomb because a lot of people, like I've heard complaints for years about this bath bomb because supposedly it's like made with charcoal and it will stain your bathtub or stain your skin or like just really kind of f you over in like all kinds of ways. Um, so I didn't know how to feel about it. Like I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Um, I would say like of all three, it put on the best show. Right, like it has the most amount of foam. It doesn't like fill the tub with foam, but it has the most amount of foam and it has some bath art going on right there. Um, I would say it has like the best balance of fizz to foam. And I checked to see, was it gonna stain right there? And it didn't look like it was gonna stain, which made me like really happy. So I decided, I decided to get in the water because I love black baths. Like I love taking a bath with a black bath on. That's like one of my favorite things to do. And so the water was really pretty. There was nothing sticking to my hands or my arms or my body, like nothing sticking to the side of the tub. And the whole time I was like, oh my God, all those people were wrong. 
all those people were wrong for years, you know? Like, all those people were wrong. And then, mm, 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 mm. I pulled the plug. I pulled, I pulled a little stopper. And I started to see, what's this? What this is? What is it? What? What's happening? Oh, that is re residue. That's res just residue. And it's not bad. But y'all, look at my face. Do I look like I want to clean the f bathtub? I just woke the f up. This is supposed to be my relaxing time, not my time to clean the f tub. So, and it's not as bad as we've seen before, right? Like, it's not as bad as the charcoal bath bomb. It's not as bad as the purple bath bomb. Like, it could be worse, but the fact of the matter is that it just happened at all. Like, <laughs> lush, there's no reason for that to happen. There's no reason for a bath bomb to stain a bathtub like this. I'm very upset about it. Like, I just don't fucking understand. Make it make sense. You don't have, you don't have to do this. It doesn't have to do this. It doesn't have to do this. So, fortunately, <laughs> I've gotten really good about cleaning my bathtub. So I'm just real good at it now. You know, grumpy though. I'm angry. <laughs> you can see how like angry I was. Like y'all, I didn't even. But I was like, maybe should I put makeup on? Eek that. No. This is this is what the result of this is because of Lush. I blame Lush, but like, no, I'm not gonna put some makeup on just to do a video just because I can't get their <laughs> together. All right, and there are some more stains still on my tub. Um, so I had to wash it, or rinse it, clean it again. Had to do it again. It, it got twice, a, a two-time cleaning, which I was not happy about. So just like the other two bath bombs, I decided to check the reviews on this and see what people were saying. And interestingly enough, I found three types of reviews. So we had reviews that said that they got stained, like this person. When I came out, I was totally blue all over, which is interesting. Uh, skin is literally stained bright pink with a black line where the water's edge sat. So we had these people who were saying that they got stained, stained my hands purple, um, or that their bath got stained. Um, however, during the tub, there's lots of residue and it stained my tub. <sighs> stained tubs and hands and feet. Yes, I understand a good couple scrubs of the tub should alleviate the stain and exfoliate my hands, blah, 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 but it shouldn't have to do this, this, I agree. Uh, but it left bad marks and spots in my tub, unfortunately, um, except it stained my fingers. So as you can see there, <laughs> I love this. It ruined the vibe. Yes. <laughs> I feel like it did ruin the vibe. Like I feel, I feel like that is the best way to describe it. Like it just ruined it. And then we had these where there was like, there's no staining or like there's just normal bath bomb residue. I'm not sure why some reviews say that it's stained. And then we got to the passively f***ing rude reviews like this one. We keep our tub very clean. So no, <laughs> it doesn't stain like, whoa. If it leaves this coloration on your bathtub or skin, it's likely due to residue in your tub or lotions or oils you use in your skin. No, I don't though. So, uh, your Lush bath bomb stain your tub because it's unclean. You've got your tub covered in either a light or serious layer of soap scum. And what have you from repeated showers and or baths without rinsing, let alone scrubbing the tub a couple times a week. Like, who the f***, where the f*** do you come off? You need to slow down. Um, here we go. Still no staining. Well, good for you. <laughs> Everything's going fine until she says, and it leaves texture on my skin, guys. Guys, I let the black residue sit for a whole week just to test the staining issue everyone's talking about. I sprayed it with a shower head, scrubbed it with a claw, took maybe two passes to get the residue gone. Y'all need to reseal your tubs or something because this bath bomb ain't the issue. Um, uh, um, are you joking me? Are you joking me right now? I'd like to start off on a rant. This doesn't stain. None of them do. If your tub is dirty to begin with, it will stain. If not, it will be fine. Also, if you use oil in your tub while you have a bath, it will stain. If you have a normal bath, you'll have no problems. 
Look. <sighs> the f- judgmental nature. So that's what I ran into. I ran into people who were like, yeah, it stains, bro. Uh, people who were like, nope, didn't stain. And then you have this weird fucking category of these catty people who are like gaslighting. And it's like, oh no, if it stains, it's because you're dirty. Like, f- right off. All right, so here's one of the responses that Lush posted, and it says, all of our products are made with food-grade vegetarian dyes in small batches. One of the problems I feel with that wording is that it makes it sound as though they are vegetable-based dyes, which, like, that could just be the way I read it. Um, Almost all uh, lakes and dyes are going to be vegetarian because they're not made from animal products. Um, Then the other problem that I have with it is that those aren't just lakes and pigments. You have iron oxide in there. That's like, that is not the same, sir. You're using, I don't know. I just, I just, it it bothers me, that wording. It just feels a little misleading, which could, it may not be their intent, right? But it just feels like that. So here is a sexy ass bath bomb. That is a black bath bomb. uh, One of my black cloud bath bombs that I made. It has a rainbow embed in it. You can make a deliciously gorgeous black bath bomb that colors the water jet black and leaves no residue in the bathtub. So I was actually testing that black bath bomb because it is a black hybrid, which means it has um, black dye and black lake in it, and it had um, embeds in it. So it is full of color. It is packed full of color and no staining. <sighs> this is possible. That's why I don't understand why Lush is still f***ing up like that. <sighs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking three baths with me in the morning, which is, you know, kind of awkward, but hey, we did it, whatever. Um, I hope that you learned a lot about your bath bombs, like, lower your standards, girl. I, I know that we're always like, oh, we need to raise our standards, but I think maybe we should lower our standards for ourselves, but then raise them for corporations, okay? I just feel like that's, like... That would would be good for everybody. Um, If you would like to learn how to color your bath bomb safely where it doesn't dye your tub or leave stains on it, I will leave a link in the description to our color studies. I have a black color study, which is like probably one of our most popular ones. And you can learn to make a black bath bomb all on your own that doesn't stain your bathtub. Huzzah! Um, Also... Uh, that would be a link to our website. So that's bathfizzandfoam.com where you can visit us and go look at all of our blog posts and all the color studies, et cetera, like that stuff. You can come visit us at our Facebook group, Bath Fizz and Foam Bath Bomb and Bubble Bar Support Group, um, where we have a community of makers who are friendly and supportive and helpful. And we would love to see you there if you want to. It's a great place to find answers to your questions. Uh, usually I'm a lot quicker about answering questions on Facebook than any other place because I practically live there. <laughs> um, and... You should also like and subscribe. Like, you know, if you like this video, right? That'd be cool if you liked it. And then you could subscribe so you could see whenever we put out new content. How's that sound? Guys, thank you so much today for hanging out with me. And as always, happy making.